Welcome back car nerds. So this is the battery from the Milano and it's a bit questionable because it's been sitting for at least two years and the date wasn't correctly punched out on this thing so I don't even have any clue how old it is. Out in the junkyard I tried hooking it up to a battery charger but the internal low voltage protection on the battery charger prevented it from charging at all. So I had to break out this crusty trusty battery charger that doesn't have such nonsense in it. Now low voltage protection is actually a really good thing because it can be very dangerous to charge a battery that has developed an internal short or the cells have reversed. So when I first started charging this thing, I monitored it with a infrared thermometer. And then when I was satisfied that it wasn't gonna burn the house down, I went ahead and let it charge overnight. At the time it looked like it was holding a charge, but I wanted to let the battery sit for two whole days to make sure the battery wouldn't drain from internal resistances. And that's where we're at today. So let's see how she is. So a battery that's rusted should be about 12.6 volts. Hey, look at that. She held 12.6. Now just holding a charge isn't really a measure of a battery. So we're gonna have to check the load. Now what this meter does is it has a big resistor in it, basically just a heater and it puts a 100 amp load on the battery, and then it measures the voltage drop. And if the voltage drops below nine volts when you put a 100 amp load on it, the battery's dead. So let's test this out now. Okay, right now before hitting the switch, we're showing about 12 and a half volts, which is exactly where it's supposed to be. But when we hit this switch, it's going to engage that 100 amp load. All right, we hold it for just a few seconds, and Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Let's repeat it a few times just to make sure. Oh, that's funny. You can see just a little bit of smoke coming out of this thing. Well, you know what? I'm satisfied. It's a slightly on the weak side, but I think this battery is going to do for, at least for testing. Now, these battery load testers are actually pretty inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon for around 25, but really Harbor Freight has them for dirt cheap. I think this one was like 16 bucks after a coupon. So if you're ever gonna be testing batteries, not a bad idea to pick these up. But I do wanna reiterate that charging batteries can be dangerous and it worked out good for me this time, but who knows, next time it might blow up and melt my dick off. Bye, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more updates on the Milano.